one of these things aren't like the other. Check it out. Right beside me, I got a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado. I know, trick question, right? This is the 22 Limited, but right here is our very first 2022, the refresh of the Silverado. Coincidentally, they're both RSTs, but now you can see the all new design language that's come in, very subtle, you can tell. It's a Chevrolet Silverado. They didn't want to go too, too extreme, but what you can still see is the Chevrolet bow tie, nice and prominent right through here. And then you get your Silverado Cumberband comes right across the top. And then this one being white, you get your black accents really, really stands out. Obviously this one's a red line edition because you can tell it's got red tow hooks. <laughs> Now, a few other things, a little bit more of a headlight design change, and I'm gonna turn this on, maybe you can see it. So you can see they've kind of kept what's been known for the, the Silverado over the last few years, is this daytime running lamp kind of comes in through here, but also check this out. Now it's integrated into the turn signal, which kind of just gives it all a nice, clean, high class feel on your new Chevy truck. But most importantly, let's check the inside. So obviously for the last, you know, three years, this is what the truck world's been waiting for, a redesign of the Chevrolet Silverado interior. And what we've noticed right away is obviously the screen. I can't believe how many people have been asking me for a big screen. Now you're gonna have 13.4 inches. And one thing that I really, really appreciate what the Chevrolet designers went and did is as you're doing a panoramic view of your windshield, you also get this panoramic view of your dashboard. Other manufacturers have gone with a gigantic screen, but it's you know takes up a lot of real estate. This way, here you can see, you can just do a nice little sweep across your dash and you kind of read. Now, another aspect about it is you have the, the Google Auto inside. So really it's just the Google interface is kind of put, put right into the screen. And now you can see uh, on before we had all our task menu, it was down in through here. So what they've done with the Google interface is they can kind of just put it all, here's your task menu right here on the left. And you can see right now, got things like Google Assistant, Google Maps, which will run off of your data. But also if you needed to get into your phone, you know, once your phone is Bluetooth, it'll come in through here. Audio, naturally you hit the music note and you can get into your audio. So as this is loading up, you can see a few more things that have been added to that audio, aside from your AM, FM and the usual XM radio, but now you have Google News that will read you, and then you have your podcasts available through Google Podcasts, which turns out really cool. But look at over here. This is roughly, I think, about eight inches here, and then you have another little menu over here. This says Maps, but if I give it a swipe, then you can get into your trailering, because if you're gonna buy a truck and you have to put up your trailer, you can kind of have this little menu right in here. Give it another swipe, you got a big gigantic clock. Now over here, you have another configurable, customizable, digital display for your driver information center, where you can see on both the left and right, your gauges are now digital as opposed to the analog uh, dials that we used to have. And then also, if you just wanted to, you know, swip through your menus, it gives you more of a configurable aspect where I've looked, noticed right now, you have your classic, progressive, digital, and clean. So you can change the lookout of what you want your screen to do. It does a little dance in between and it kind of just summarizes the view that you want so everybody can have the truck know that they're looking for. And another major aspect, obviously, for the last, I don't know, 100 years, we've been shifting our Chevy trucks with a column shifter gone on the LT and above. This one's an RST. So what this is now has is a console shifter right in through here. So as I'm driving, Instead of being able to pull from here, your hand rests right on the gear shift, just like you were driving a regular sedan. Though this one is not available because the customer pre-ordered it a while ago, but now come on down, Boyer Chevrolet Buick GMC, 425 Bailey Street, and we can start talking trucks and getting you into a new Silverado. Mm -hmm.